everyone! Lately, in the news articles and blog posts, YouTube posts, I have been coming across a lot about university costs going up and a lot of articles saying that university degree is not necessarily worth it anymore, it's not worth going to university. So I thought I would create a video based on my personal experience and give you 5 tips on how to decide whether university is the right choice for you. And this video is not meant to be either pro or against university or college. It's more of a to give you some thought on how to decide whether you want to go to university, whether it's the right choice for you. And um, let's just begin. Tip number one, think and answer yourself very honestly. Why are you going to university or why are you considering to go to university? Is it because of pressure or is it because of pleasure? And this is what I mean by, um, by it. Are you considering university because of peer pressure, because your friends are going, or because your parents are pressuring you to go, or because of some social outside influence on you, because you kind of expected to go to university? Or are you considering to go to university because you're genuinely excited about it? You genuinely, you excited about the experience, you excited about education? Um, just answer yourself very, very honestly. Like you don't have to say it out loud, but just in your brain. What is your intuition is telling you? Tip number two. Tip number two is decide whether what uh, profession, what degree you would like to pursue in the future. So what profession are you considering? There are professions such as engineering, doctors, lawyers, nurses, uh, geologists like myself. Um, those professions absolutely require you to have a degree, university or college. Uh, the company's hiring would not even look at your resume unless you have a formal education. However, there are other professions that not necessarily need a formal education. An example would be photographers or videographers. Uh, now, I'm not saying that if you want to be a photographer or videographer, you should not go to college. Absolutely, I'm not saying that at all. University and colleges do open a lot of um, doors for you, they give you a lot of connections, experience, etc, etc. But you just have to be aware that not every profession needs necessarily a formal education. Two years ago, I opened a production, a production company that I run. We do photography and videography for clients and I hire a lot of contractors to come and help and work with me or for me to create a product. In all two years, hiring photographers and videographers and um, designers, I have never really ask them about formal education that they had. I care about their portfolio, their personality, their experience and uh, how responsible they are. So just be aware that there are degrees that don't really need formal education. Tip number three, answer yourself a question. Do you like to study? And this is because at university, and I'm speaking from my own experience, uh, you are required to study independently. So unless you like to study by sitting down, reading a book, reading notes, you're probably not going to enjoy the experience at university. Tip number four. Tip number four is consider your financial um, situation. So by that what I mean is how are you going to pay for your education? Are your parents helping you out? Which is amazing. Um, do you have savings or are you? will you be acquiring debt? Now, uh, when I'm reading about articles about debt, um, it's very one-sided. It's very negative. And every article that I've read saying like, oh, you've been, you will be acquiring 40,000 of debt after you graduate and you will never pay it back and you'll just be stuck in this vicious cycle. When I went to university, I had to take out uh, student loans because we just came from Russia to Canada. My parents couldn't help me. I didn't really have any savings uh, and so I had to take out student loan. I paid with student loans throughout my uh, degree, however, in my second, third and fourth year my grades were really good so I was able to apply to scholarships. Scholarships paid for a big big chunk of my debt and once I graduated I was fortunate enough to find a position as a geologist. The company hired me uh, so I entered the workforce right after university and was able to pay out, uh, pay off the remainder of my student debt within six months after graduating. So when you read articles that, oh, you'll be stuck in this humongous debt, just be, mm, think for yourself, just be cautious because it's not necessarily true. And final tip, now tip number five is consider if this is the right timing for you personally to go into university. And here you have to answer sort of like sub questions. 
Do you want to travel? Would you like to work first? Would you like to get some savings? And um, maybe you don't know what you want to do. So don't go to university just because you're feeling pressure and like, but you don't know what you're going to do. Now for me, I went straight from school into university. I went and picked biology degree, uh, degree because I was good at, at biology in high school. I later switched into geology and enjoy, enjoyed it a lot, but I didn't think it through when I was going into university. If after those five tips you still don't know if you want to go to university, um, write yourself a list. Go positives and negatives. So positive would be your parents can pay you for your education or you got a scholarship that will carry you through all four years. That's a definitely positive. If you experience a lot of pressure from your parents, from your peers, that's maybe a negative or maybe a positive. It depends on your personality. So write yourself a list and sort of really, really think about it and just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy it, basically, enjoy life. And um, with that, I'm gonna wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Also, let me know if you would like to know more, uh, if you would like to see more videos on like different aspects, uh, such as like business, writing a business, how I make money with photography and videography and not just necessarily school related topics that I've been doing lately. So find me on Instagram at Chaila Girl. Uh, send me a personal message if you want. And um, until next time, bye.